castle is super themed and like dark because it's the vampire castle. What's up, P Nation? Today is number seven on our great Romanian road trip. Mm -hmm. And today we're trying to go on the trans Fagarsen Highway, which is one of the most beautiful roads apparently you can ever be on. It is the second tallest road in all of Romania, and they close it down for the winter because it's really dangerous. Uh -huh. Well, so, they only open it for two months. Yeah, so we're trying to go see if it's open. <laughs> we're trying the, to hit that window. The website <laughs> said it was closed four days ago, so that's the last time it was updated. So we're gonna go there to see if it's open. Some of the locals were saying that it might be open now, so we don't know. And we will see, we're about to go next. came to the end of the road. Apparently you cannot go through yet. <laughs> there were all these people at this like stand. We were like, why are so many people parked here to just buy some food? Yeah. But apparently this is where the road ends. So yep. all the people that came up just like us and that are going down just went to the stand. So sad, but that's okay because we can turn around and go to a castle today. Yes. Yes. Whew, so as you can see, we are wearing different clothes because it's actually a different day. Yesterday didn't really work out for us. We had to go down the mountain because we didn't make it to the top, and then there was a bunch of traffic, and so we couldn't come here yesterday. Anyways, we're here now. So today we're here at Fran Castle, and it's going to be amazing. Apparently, it's like one of the best redone castles in all of Romania. It's gonna be spectacular. We're so excited. So before we got into Brand Castle, we decided to eat something. I'm so happy that we did. So we ordered langos, which is technically another Hungarian dish, but it's kind of translates to flame bread. It looks like it's fried, and it's served with sour cream, cheese, and then garlic on top. So this smells like the most garlicky garlic bread. But you know it's gonna be creamy because the cheese. Like, I'm just really excited for this flavor. Really, really delicious. It's cheesy, it's creamy, but the garlic. You know, so the whole myth of Dracula started here in Romania. And I'm starting to think that the whole myth about like him not liking garlic stems from the fact that the Romanians love just sharp, non-cooked, raw, like pungent garlic on everything. They serve with garlic sauces all over the place. I don't think you'd ever find this much garlic and like pungent garlic flavor on anything in America. We have never experienced it anywhere else. It is so strong where it's like knock you out. It is so strong but so good. I think that's where it comes from. This is really tasty. Corn. We've been noticing this everywhere also that corn is served just on the cob. All the locals are getting corn. Like so much corn. So why not? We love corn. 
The perfect breakfast. Okay, first thing, I love how before you go in the castle, there's like all these little shops. It takes me back, like I said in the other video, to when castles started and there's all these merchants outside selling everything. Like, it's so much fun. Anyways, next thing is this castle is super themed and like dark because it's the vampire castle, even though Leah says it's not. It's not. This is the vampire <laughs> castle. There's bats everywhere. The shops outside have like vampire. Has a lot of power, okay? It's true. It's cool. It looks pretty Dracula to me. Apparently this was the queen's bedroom. Gina Marie, and she only died when she was like almost 50 years old, and she went into battle with them. And in she, the First World War, and yeah. she's the reason, kind of the reason, Romania is a country today. And she talked the Allies into making three regions one. Girl power. So it's so much fun to learn about the historical significance of each room because it's gone through so many different owners. So this used to be a chapel. And that's why like the ceilings are so different than every other room in the whole place. But when the beloved queen took over, she turned it into a breakfast room. Now we're up on the terrace. Apparently, if this fortress was being attacked, they'd throw hot tar down the side of this thing and onto their assailants. Yeah. Okay, so now for the story of Dracula with under 60 seconds. Let's try. Dracula is based on Vladimir the Impaler. I think it's maybe just Vlad the Impaler. But he was a nobleman, and his father was king, and he was in this dragon knight's order. And people of Romania didn't know what a dragon was, so they called it the devil. So his father was known as the devil, and he was known as the son of the devil, or Dracula. So Bram Stoker, the author of the famous book Dracula, came to Transylvania, learned about all this stuff, and made a story about a vampire. Because apparently there was um, there were other myths about the undead happening in Romania, so he put all these facts of real things together, and he came up with Dracula, which is widely known, it's why we have vampires today. It's all really cool, and apparently Bran Castle um, was inspiration for Dracula's castle. I love how everything's so interactive, you can like touch everything. This is just so cool. Everything's like, like the roof tiles look like dragon scales, and like just the, the myth of vampires, is where it all started. And everything's just so creepy, but adorable and cute and quaint. And this is just a lot of fun. So I think we've explored everything we can explore here at Brain Castle. It is really well done. It's very fun to go through. Great for kids. It's like a maze. It really is. It is one of the smaller castles we've been to in Romania. So Third castle? Yeah. Yeah. It's quite small, but it's really, really nice. Mm -hmm. So now I think we're going to leave Brand Castle and go find something else to eat. Whew. 
So we made it out, they have this like Dracula section with the haunted house and we were thinking about doing it and then we got to the entrance and- like poked my head in and then I got like a puff of air and it scared me so bad. <laughs> I've never seen her jump so high. So no haunted house today, but we are getting something to eat. I hate haunted house. <laughs> Okay, so we got this chimney thing and it's called Kirtos Skalox or chimney tower is what I saw <laughs> as well. Anyways, it's basically coated in cinnamon sugar or whatever you like and it's put on a wooden spindle and then it spins over a wood fire until it's crispy. Feels like the consistency of a cinnamon roll. But it's hollow. Mmm. Mmm. It's really good. It's like puff pastry, doughy, that super crunchy on the outside so you get this like crunch with a hint of cinnamon. And that is it for our Transylvanian road trip. It has been amazing. Mm -hmm. This eight day adventure is coming to an end. We're headed back to Bucharest to spend the night there before we get on an airplane and go to Poland. That is gonna be awesome. But this has just been amazing. I had no idea Transylvania would be as enchanting as it's been. That is so true. I didn't know that either. I thought it would be, like I've said before, kind of like really, really spooky. Mm -hmm. But it's really, really adorable. Mm -hmm. Everywhere is just so lovely and nice. And all the castles have been amazing. Yeah, and it's just like being able to drive from each one, and we just yes. feel so free because we've been trapped in, you know, without transportation for so long. So this, trans this Transylvanian road trip has been amazing, <laughs> and if you ever have the chance to go on it, I definitely recommend it to you. Yes. I love how. <laughs> It's like the dog that's running, Chris.